this is Unit for Golden Skate and I'm so happy to be here with the wonderful Sarina Jost from Italy. Sarina, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing really well and um, thanks for the invitation. I'm happy to be here and yeah. We uh, want to get to know you a little bit better because you burst onto the scene kind of last season. You had a wonderful season and yeah, you were for many the newcomer of the season. Uh, you became Italian champion, you performed then at Europeans, Junior Worlds and Worlds. We will come to that a little bit later, but let's start at the beginning. Can you tell us how did you get into the sport of figure skating as a child? Uh, when I was like a child, I did like many sports together. I, I like I did gymnastic, I went to swimming school, I did ballet, I also played the piano and then I also started with some figure skating like to learn the basic skills like to just like forward skating and then I came to a point where I needed to decide like at around like nine years old I had to decide what I want to continue because I didn't have the time with school like to do all the sports and so I just I loved figure skating the most and then I like kept going this and yeah that's how I ended up in figure skating but yeah you were obviously very very talented and you said you love figure skating the most. What do you like most about skating? I just like like everything. I, I prefer jumps, of course. I like jumping. It feels like I'm flying over the ice. And also, like while I'm skating my programs, I just feel that I, I feel so free and I can express my emotions. I can show my emotion, what I'm feeling, like during my performances. And that's what I really love about the sport. No, you're not the only figure skater in your family. Also, your sister is skating. She's two years younger, is that correct? Yes. yes. Um, how is it to have the sister in the same sport? And uh, how do you motivate each other? Yeah, that's really cool that we like share the same sport because we can help each other. Like at home, we, we talk about figure skating. We try to like encourage each other also like to support each other. And that's also what like it makes us feel like special because we share the same sport and yeah I, I feel that's a really cool thing. Is there any rivalries between you and your sister? I mean I used to fight a lot with my siblings when I was younger. Yeah I, I, I mean it's normal that we have some rivalries sometimes but they are not about figure skating like just general like I mean like sister rivalities um, in figure skating, no, because like we are two different persons and we encourage each other and we support each other. There we are not rivalries. So you're half Italian and half Swiss and you represented Switzerland in the past, but decided to now start for Italy. You said you feel more Italian. Can you tell us what makes you feel Italian and what do you like about Italy? Yeah, so um, my whole like mother side is like from Italy, also like my grandmother and so we like just live at home, we have the Italian mentality, so we live like the Italian style at home, also like when my aunts or my um, grandmothers are coming and we just live the Italian style and that's also really cool, I like the mentali mentality of Italy and also like that the people are so open and the communication, like they are so communicative, that's what I also like really love about Italy. I remember you said at Worlds that you feel so welcome and so good with the Italian team around it, around you. Can you tell a little bit more about that? Yeah, um, the Italian team, like I really love the people. They are so supportive. They also integrate me very well. Also like the other skaters. I just felt so welcome there. And yeah, also at World Championship or like Europeans or Junior Worlds when we went eating. It's like it was just such a warm atmosphere. That's what I really appreciate. Let's talk a little bit more about your last season. Due to the country change, you could start a little bit later. When you started your season, could you have imagined that you went through all of these events? What were maybe your goals when you started for Italy? Yeah, my main goal was like just to show what I'm able of like doing, what I practiced the whole like season, also with like the, the longer break I had to do for competing. And um, I just wanted to really show what I worked on. And of course, I aimed for like Europeans and Worlds. And then after I won Nationals, it was just like a dream that I realized that it's now reality that I really can do it. And so like I was really happy about this. Can imagine. Uh, you had 
very successful results. Um, and I also think you showed a great consistency all over. Like there were, I can't remember a single program where you had major or big mistakes. Why do you think, what makes you so consistent? Uh, I feel like it's hard work. Like I'm really a hard worker and also in practices, I, I really work hard and I just love figure skating. So it also makes it easier for me to perform because if you do what you love, it like, it's really like much easier. You just said you're a hard worker. What do you think especially makes you a hard worker? I would say it's like that I, if I practice, I practice hard. I do repetitions. I do like jumps. I do spins. I do skating. Like it's that what makes it like me hard worker. And I'm like really ambitious and also, yeah, I would say that's the, yeah. Amazing. Uh yeah, you had uh, amazing results and great competitions. You traveled all over the world. What would you say was your highlight from a special moment from last week? That's a hard question. I was at so many places. I really like loved all the competitions. But of course, like a highlight, I would say is the my two like I did my first inter intercontinental flights like to Canada and to Taipei. They were my longest flights. My biggest like travel and also like the world championship like the europeans and junior worlds i would say that's the highlight of the season what would you say did you learn or take most from that last season i would say like to handle my stress level because there was like a, f a funny story before like zagreb um we were at the hotel and then we were about to leave for competition and there was a huge traffic like normally it takes like 10 minutes by bus, like the shuttle bus to the ice rink and the shuttle bus didn't came. Then we waited like for 20 or 30 minutes and then like Lorenzo called a taxi and there was like a huge traffic with the taxi and we took like 40 minutes to the rink. But the taxi driver understood that we want to go like horses, like to the horses to ride horse riding. And then we were like there and we said yeah and the ice rink we were at the wrong place and we needed to get back to the ice rink so i arrived in the end after like one hour 10 minutes or something and i had just like 20 minutes left till the six minutes warm-up so i needed to like do a five minute warm-up to get my dress on to get my skates on and yeah i think that's and i was usually like really surprised because i really was calm and I was just so happy that I made it in time because I thought now competition is over for me and then I like managed to do a clean short program also with my personal best. Now I really, really know that I'm also capable of like doing my thing what I what I'm able to do if I'm like stressed or if I'm like in a too late so that's what I really learned yeah and I'm really happy about this experience too. That you can handle all the stress. All yeah, the of, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, yeah, still be able to show your best. That's a great story. We are now in the middle of the off season. Uh, yeah, how is your off season structured, and how are you preparing for the next season? Yeah, now I like I did my new programs, and my in, during my off season, I really like want to work on my new programs, also the skating skills to do it like everything more fluid, also to work on jumps and spins, of course. I think that's what I'm working the most at the off-season. You just mentioned you worked on your two new programs already and you shared that you worked with Eona, uh, Eduardo Bernardes, is it? Yeah? Yes. Um, what can you tell yet about these two new programs? Yeah, um, it was the first time I worked with Eduardo. Uh, I really appreciate the work and I, I really love the work. And also um, my new programs, yeah, the free is about like the queen like the queen elizabeth yeah it's a story about this and my short is more religious piece so yeah wow uh you are always kind of uh i i will just i noticed with you already when i first met you two years ago that you you put yourself a lot of thoughts into your program and your music choices and feel deeply connected to it. How is that with the, within two new programs? Yeah, this time it was different. Like it was Eduardo that he like suggested me the music and like the, the free program with the Queen Elizabeth. I, um, from the beginning, I was like in love with the piece and then I said, yeah, yeah, I, I really love it. And, and the short too, like it was a suggestion from his part and 
yeah, I, I really love the pieces and the work he did. So I really appreciate that. Well, he had great ideas for you. Yeah. Um, from the programs you did yet, what would you say was for you the most special program yet and why? <sighs> That's hard. Mm, I would say I had one program like when I, I started skating, it was my first tour program. And it was really special to me because like there was a coach, like she coached me and she suggested me this music because she skated to this piece when she was younger and then I also could wear her dress and her sh like her music that was really like special for me because I was like really new in this sport my first tour program and it was also the program I kept for three years so I think that was the special like the most special program for me what music was that like it was a orientalic style nice yeah so you grew with this yeah. program I can imagine do you have any dream music style or like piece that you dream of skating to one day in the future? At the moment, no, because like my music choices, they are always planned like short term. And so I'm not looking like too far in the future in according of this. What music do you listen to in your free time then? <laughs> um, I listen to like some pop songs or like Italian music, like when I'm in train or like just yeah. yeah, warming up. So. Any favorite artist or something? No, I like like to have some different music. Go with the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> You're still still young. You have a lot of years in skating, I guess, ahead of you. What would you say are your long time career goals? Of course, it would be like a dream for me to compete at the Olympics in 2026. So let's learn a little bit more about you as a person. You still go to school in Zurich, you have one year left. Yeah. How does a normal day look like for you? Yeah, for example, Monday is like I start school at like 8 in the morning and it's till 4, 4 in the afternoon, so it's like a long day. I have 8 hours of school and Monday usually I don't practice because we practice Saturday, Sunday and then Monday is just a school day. So it's a really long day for me, like, because I go to school at Zurich, it's like more than one hour away from my home. So I need to wake up early to go to school, to have the nine school lessons, then to get back. And then I'm like at home, like at 5.30 or something. Then I need to study. Like, for example, last week I had an exam week. So I studied like till 12, like I went to bed at 12 o'clock in the evening. Then I woke up early the next day. So it's like really hard sometimes. But I'm really happy that I am at a sports, sports school, so it's really like much easier for me to combine sport and school together. Yeah. Yeah, it's great that you have such an opportunity, and yeah, as every young athlete. <laughs> yeah, of course there are some like really hard weeks yeah. if we have the exam weeks. So then, like, I don't sleep much, but somehow it's going. Do you sometimes envy your peers like your age who don't have the stress with the sport or you never regret your... No, I never regret my decision because I love my sport too much, so... What subjects do you uh, enjoy at school, maybe outside of sport? Um, I like the languages, like I have Italian, French, English and German at school because I'm at the like language um school part so i don't know if yeah I, I probably you have uh, to choose between language yeah, and um, science yeah, yeah 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 and that's what i like like the most when you have some free time eventually what do you enjoy doing then uh, i like to do like to go shopping with my sister or with my cousins because like what they really like is where we like live our cousins they are like in our age and they live just like two minutes away from us so we can walk to them and like we can do things together and we have like a really good relationship me my sister and like my two cousins that's really what i like like to spend time with them how would you characterize yourself how would you characterize yourself as a person i would say i'm really open and communicative and also like supportive and i'm also ambitious and like disciplined that what I would say, yeah. What is the goal or dream of your uh, outside of figure skating? Um, I would love to go to university when I'm like finished with my school. So there, like, it's really open in which direction I want to go. And of course, I also need to to really look that I have still time to do my the skating by sides. But I know that in Switzerland, it's possible like to do some like 
through to some subjects at the university where you can do like, for example, instead of three years, you do like four or five years and then you still have like your time to do your sport, to do your like competitive sport. So I would like go to such a direction after my, after I finish my school. That's amazing. What subject do you think of studying? Um, I'm not sure. It's really open at the moment, but I'm also like, I think it's really interesting to go like to the direction of med medicine. But yeah, it's, as I said, it's really open. I think that will change in the future. So. Thank you so much, Sarina. It was a pleasure to get to know you better. Thank you so much and we wish you all the best for the upcoming. Thank you very much.